<laughs> Take two, one, Timmy, what's Gucci? What are we talking about? Mild, never fade. Episode six, special <laughs> edition. EP six, late night, right special, before the holidays. Very special, very special episode. <laughs> dun, 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 We're popping dun. in to discuss something that the entire NFT community has been waiting for for months, feels like years, possibly our entire fucking lives. The trial of Jimmy the monkey. And everything everyone's missing. There's a lot of things that they've covered, but they're missing. Do we need to drop them with the bomb from the get-go? I think let's let's just set the stage a little bit here because there's some potential that people who tune into this have absolutely no idea what we're talking about or are quickly going to be like, what did I stumble into? I'm out of here. So. Why don't you tell the people what we're talking about? Because it's kind of hard to explain. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, in bake, when Bake minted in April of 21, there was this sentence that got thrown out that, like, fuck Jimmy the monkey. Like, and the bastard Jimmy the monkey. It, it just was this piece of the lore that was thrown out there, like, the you know, Gordon Goner and Gargamel... They knew they needed an enemy, and they threw it out there. And when you look at the Board Ape Yacht Club website, you'll see a little monkey up in the very like top corner, and everyone's like, "That's Jimmy." And Jimmy the monkey, you know, just got he, it got the name of the enemy, like "fuck Jimmy the monkey," you know. So and that was, was the like enemy. A, and then there was like a roadmap, right? That was dropped, and on the roadmap is this trial of Jimmy the Monkey, and it shows. This well, we're talking character. roadmap roadmap one, right? It was like references to damn Jimmy the Monkey. Like first thing on the roadmap was pay back their moms. They've never actually like addressed that, like whether that was true or whether they did have to pay back their moms. I haven't actually ever seen if that's come out, but there was this like there was notions on the roadmap that Jimmy the Monkey, you know, was like the shithead. It was the enemy of this. And remember I think the, the hazy road- bees coming in saying they did pay their mothers back. Mm. So that was legit. Okay. They were I like, missed it. <laughs> hazy <laughs> makes sense. It. They Hazy's borrowed the money hazy knows. from their moms to start this project. And first thing they did is pay them back. I respect Sick. it. Yeah, I respect it. Yeah. I'm curious how much they had to borrow for it, like paying artists and stuff. Sure. But dope. yeah, looking at this project, they probably rolled it out for like, I don't know couple couple grand mm-hmm. you know <laughs> we won't go there but you know we know any i mean we don't know we we can assume the artist topic that's a different topic we can talk about that on a different show the thing is is that jimmy was the nemesis that was thrown out there right and and you see this what we think is jimmy the jimmy the monkey wearing a fez hat um also kind of you know coincidentally like a floor trait for Abe sitting on the bottom you know what i'm saying but uh that's at the top of the, that's at the top of the <laughs> why do people hate the fez cap dude is I don't this know, is this bro. like taboo can we not talk about this is this like a i mean race I mean, race issue like what are we doing here a cultural i don't know thing? i don't know what we're doing here it's marketplace dynamics so i don't know if it's a race thing you know abu from Aladdin had a fez. So I don't right. know. Abu was a fucking legend, dude. But Abu, Abu was a G. A, a Abu legend, was the dude, yeah. Abu was the theme of my four year old birthday. It wasn't Aladdin. It was Abu. So yeah. I don't I'm not sure why there's people are the fez. Named Abu. I think there's an MF for named Abu the Ape that like yeah. actually oh, sto- lost stoned his- Abu. Stone, he, he didn't he lose an ape or multiple apes? Yeah, and, like and I started exploit. a donation. I started a donation campaign oh, really? back in summer of 21 to like get him some money to like help him out because he fell victim to a scam. This is what happens. I just like completely <laughs> randomly mention a community member from BAYC that I remember got hacked. And you're like, yeah, I started a fund to support stoned abu yeah, in Stone light of his loss yeah, yeah good month eve he'll know me let's get after it this guy's a this guy's a man of the apes this wow yeah dude so like jimmy jimmy the monkey ran off with it. i think jimmy had a lot to do with the last puzzle 
uh, that like Brett Bauerhaus, actually a uh, white hat hacker and his squad won won that event. I used to work with them in, in a cybersecurity past life. Um, so I know those those folks prior to Bake, which is just kind of a crazy coincidence. But within that kind of like puzzle breaking contest, you know, uh, Jimmy the monkey was featured in there. And then Roadmap 2 dropped in September of 21. And it had this big image of Jimmy the monkey in handcuffs. And it was trial of Jimmy the monkey. I think it's important to call out right now that Jimmy the monkey is 100% the enemy, the nemesis that the Board Ape Yacht Club has painted as the monkey, the thing. And now, now remind you, like, I don't really know the difference between monkeys and apes, but it is what Yuga has painted as Jimmy the monkey is a bastard. We are supposed to not like Jimmy the monkey. Do we need to like dive into the difference between um, apes and, you know, chimpanzees and different kind of monkeys to understand the clues that are dropped in this video? So anyways, we we have some familiarity with Jimmy the monkey. This is the lore that's been being built and we've been waiting. And personally, I've been complaining, you know, about like, where's the story? Let's tell the story. It's been a long time coming. And then we spoke about this on the last podcast that there is an announcement coming. And they actually right. dropped this, I think, before we were expecting because we were thinking that this was going to happen in Christmas. We had a whole dialogue about how this better be freaking good if it's going on Christmas. Yeah. And in fact, they Yo, they, they dropped, dropped it 15 minutes after our last podcast. 15 yeah, minutes. We talked about how it's like, yo, this is dropping Christmas Day. It better be for the fam and like... I go get water and I come back and Jimmy the monkey, like the prologue, it dropped. So the video was dope and that was the prologue. And then there was an announcement about essentially like weekly on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is going to be like Bored Ape Storytelling Day, apparently. The next one coming on the 28th, which uh, this is all loaded onto this website. Uh, The website is MD vmm.xyz which was on the roadmap and you know that's that's a battle that they've been signaling as three different points on the roadmap of md verse mm so let's start there do we know what md and mm stand for we don't but the community has offered up mecha dogs and mecha monkeys mecha dogs and mecha monkeys okay that makes sense So we saw this video, which we're going to pick through today and try to like see what we can take away from it. You know, we were told in the tweets that they announced this video that there are going to be essentially clues in the the videos to to follow leading up to the mint. And when you go to the website, uh, I think the first thing we should do is just like poke through there because we've got December 21st, we had the trial of Jimmy the Monkey prologue. Then on December 28th, we're going to have Mysteries Revealed, The Past, Present, Future. It says, A Prophet Waddles Among Us. Listen closely. A Prophet Waddles. Waddles. You know, a duck waddles. Do other animals waddle? Penguins Pink. waddle. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Luca Nets is going wild on that mm-hmm. one, right? Like pudgy penguins panged up. And this one says, listen closely. So I'm assuming that's a reference to like the audio. Now, and and they did, they did just drop me bits turned on with warp audio, with warp audio sound, which warp audio Mm. is a NFT project. Uh, Shout out Jeff Nicholas in the hip hop group chat, right? Like, there's a music fuse there on the Mebit side for Mebit's turn on. So like maybe they're going to be keep, maybe they're going to keep doing s- some stuff with uh, Warp Sound AI. Do we need to listen? I think we need to listen to this Mebit's. I mean, yeah. So Mebit's turn on, like they dropped an album, like they dropped an album for Mebit's and no one knew about it. It's just, oh, it's just Mebit's life, bro. So That's sad. just what happens. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, yeah, but like the thing is, is these are metaverse ready, quote unquote, avatars or something yeah, turn, like that. So it yeah, turned me on right there. Turn. Boom. Yeah, now hit that little uh, hit the third button to the right, the white box to the right. You'll bring a party out. Get him. Boom, baby. Now hit that middle box. Get him dancing. Floating. So you hear all that music? That's some AI music. By Warp Sound. So, I mean, if they're going to tell us to listen, you know, I'm going to follow where, where my ears have been uh, told thus far. Those me bits are fucking j grooving, jamming, dude. To them. yeah, they're fucking, they're j they're grooving, bro. Like yeah. me bits, like I think they're 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 going after this techno dance market, and it's like not a bad one, you know. Yeah. First time I've ever wanted a me bit for one second as I watched that. The music um, makes a big difference. Music makes, makes a big, big difference. Yeah. yeah, it makes you feel like the fucking fucking NFT of all NFTs, you know. Yeah. All right, so that's that's Alpha. Listen closely, December twenty eighth, and then this is super interesting. January eleventh, prepare for the mint. Study the guide and plan your strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a big deal. We're gonna get a guide in order to plan for this mint, which is gonna take place on January eighteenth. Mint begins. Multi week interactive mint. Yeah, multi-week interactive mint the sewer calls discover its treasures and mint what you gather so so there's some, gonna be some alpha to here and then we're gonna get maybe like a map or some kind of guide in order to i guess like dive into the sewer and try to gather some treasures and mint some treasures, something like this. I mean, does that sound like maybe what's what's coming? Yeah, here? but and I got a bigger problem. I got a bigger problem, and it was brought to me by Hazy B. And I think it's something we got to crack into. So it's talking about the prologue of Jimmy the Monkey, the trial of Jimmy, and this guy celebrating. I want you to do something real quick. Hazy, if you can pull it up, show us Jimmy in the Board Ape Yacht Club website image. And then show us Jimmy in Roadmap, Roadmap 2.0. This is a different Jimmy. This isn't mm. the same Jimmy. This Jimmy's wearing a sailor hat. Yeah. All Jimmy that we've effort. ever known has been wearing a fez. Yeah, we know Jimmy wears a fez. That's pretty much all we know about Jimmy. Is he did something wrong? He's on trial. He's in cuffs. He's got a fez cap. And then we get this mf'er that everybody's calling Jimmy. You're saying we, this is in Jimmy. We also know that Jimmy has a stud earring. The Jimmy that we see in Jimmy of the the trial that everyone's blessing is Jimmy has a hoop earring. Hmm, and a little sailor cap. You think MJ would be playing the same way he played in 96 with a stud earring versus a hoop earring? Big difference. This is a big, big difference. And then if you pull up Roadmap 2, you also see Jimmy. And it's explicitly at that point saying trial of Jimmy. He's got a Fez hat on and he's got a, he's got a gold earring. No hoop, stud. So what's going on here, Fax? Hmm. I think we got some uh, interference being run by this character that died on the toilet. So let's get into that video because that video was heard around crypto t Twitter. It moved markets. Feel free to Mutant say the world. Apes it was heard around running the world. Around the world. <laughs> Started around. The I question that. You know, I I I still, you know, 
I guess it was. It was heard around the world. It was heard around the world and it moved markets. And there was a lot, apparently there's a lot of alpha in this video. So, you know, we're going to go through and try to dissect what's going on here. And the first thing is, we don't think that this is Jimmy, this character. We got the wrong the mf -er. That is Jimmy right there in the roadmap. J the trial of Jimmy the monkey in cuffs with a Fez hat on and a stud earring. This alleged Jimmy that we meet in this video that we're about to go through in stills has a hoop earring and a sailor hat. I think that's an important <laughs> first thing to distinguish. And also like, you know, we got to stay critical. We got to stay on our toes. All right? right. Apparently this that's is an right. interactive process and it requires uh, deep research and critical thinking. So let's get into that. Right. That's right. What do we, what do we got? What's the first kind of clue or thought that you want to take a look at here and strip down? Good yeah. Luck? Let's take a look at Jimmy putting it in on the toilet, putting in the time, coming off six men on the bench, right? Coming in to really lay something down. It's we just got to note a couple of things. The feet are weird. Everything, <laughs> everything Yuga has ever done about the feet are always weird. Like you go back to Ape Fest and you and you go back to Ape Fest and you look at the the like the flip-flop that goes in the middle of the feet, these curling-looking feet like this, like, come on, man. <laughs> Anyways, you also see the radioactive mood, the vibrant, the mutant serum green. It's back. Like, it's ignited, and that, that's important here. Yeah, he must have ate, ate or drank something. Yeah. You know? Now we know that uh, Curtis, that was sitting by the, you know, the swamp, he he came into a bottle of some type of coda potion or something that he drank that wrecked him. You know, like got him twisted up. That's I mean, right. Whatever happened to that? Like we don't know yet. We don't we know. Just know. We, that actually does come back in the middle of this. I haven't heard many people dig into, but it does. It will reference that. The thing is is the whole mutant lore is that, you know, there was some funky juice that happened and some apes got their hand on it and they drank it. So we know that we know that the radioactive juice the serum. is coming. Yeah, the serum. Sorry, I'm calling it juice. The serum is coming from s somewhere in the, around the swamp, right? So we're getting these color vibes, which is important. Now, this guy, I'm I, like, we need to not call this monkey Jimmy yeah. because it's, I don't believe it's Jimmy. And I don't want to say it's Jimmy and put people down that right, put people down that path. So, this is a monkey with a bandage on its arm. Clearly, this monkey gets into trouble, whether it's of its yeah, own doing, yeah. like, it's either adventurous or it's getting punked. You know, Let's call know. this MF a wrecked monkey. You're because we yeah, don't wrecked, think it's Jimmy. We don't have a name. Monkey. We're gonna call him wrecked monkey. Wrecked monkey. And now this keyhole is the first keyhole that resembles the the hint that they dropped uh, right before they dropped this video with an eyeball popping through this keyhole. So we hmm. know at this point when we see this video that like an eye is gonna be looking back at us through this keyhole or out the other way. So. Well, so we'll come back to that. Also, also I want to point out that this scene is taking place in the outhouse. And we've seen the outhouse before. We've seen the outhouse as one of the backdrops to the Bored Ape Kennel Club. Let's go. I was, I'm stoked you're bringing this up right now. <laughs> yeah, so... Pretty much, if we could get that pulled up, if we go through the Board Ape Kennel Club NFTs, and we'll, you know we filter with the backgrounds, one of them is called Outhouse, and you got your Kennel Club, and it's sitting in front of the Outhouse. So this lore is actually in the NFT collection, and, and there's very few, very few backdrops. You got the Swamp Outhouse, the SSS Monkey Biz, which is the boat that's out front, the club exterior, and the bar. So the swamp, we under, you know, we've heard story about the SS monkey biz. We haven't heard story about yet. 
Club exterior, somewhat self-referential. The bar, yeah, we get it. We like to drink. The outhouse, why the outhouse? We have 2,413 doggos that are positioned in front of that outhouse with that crescent moon on the front of that outhouse. Yeah, see the moon that's on the front of the outhouse in the back of this uh, this BAKC. It's the same crescent moon from our video where Wrecked Monkey dies on the toilet. At least I think he's dead. Um, so I don't know. Is this alpha? <laughs> I mean, I it's know. something, right? But it, you know? but it does it does connect with some of these images later. So if we get back to those images and we flip, flip through them, we got some takes on them because we do get to a point where I think that the dogs come in at the end. So at this point, I just want to break down the dynamics here. Curtis, it to the right of Curtis's face, he has, he has a steaming, like radioactive vibe of shit that just got taken. Right, it's got to be yeah. hitting his nose. Some but he's blowing type a of cigar, so maybe he's, vapor. Right, but look at the way this wreck monkey looks at Curtis. Like you think you've heard the saying, you know, you think your shit don't stink. Wreck monkey definitely knows his shit don't stink. Like, Red Monkey's yeah. looking at Curtis like, what are you going to do about it? So there's yeah, something, exactly. there's a dynamic here going on, yeah. right? Yeah, he's like proud. He's like proud of this bomb he just yeah. dropped in the outhouse. And he's like, ha, 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 go sniff on that, MFR. No yeah, respect he's like, for Curtis. Right, no respect for Curtis. Like, this whole time, everybody who holds a board ape, uh, yacht club ape, we all have respect for Curtis, but the, the the reality is is like not everyone in the swamp I think does, and this is a tall tale sign. Curtis is stunned. Curtis is stunned. Curtis doesn't. Curtis is he's fading himself. He takes those eyes and he just watches him walk off like he just got fucking pwned. Yeah, but right? at the same time, like he's not surprised. You know, he's, he's like he's come to expect this kind of behavior from Wreck Monkey. Wreck Monkey with the bandage on the tail and the arm walking off like it's no business. Curtis is thinking something, but like Curtis, you know, maybe he's like, I'm going to teach this Wreck Monkey a lesson, or maybe he's like, man, like this kid's gonna you know learn it the hard way. I, or maybe he's like, dude, the kid's got the juice. I don't know yet, right? But I just needed to call that out. So the next right, time, that's fair, interesting. Boom, Curtis mm. just got shot. He has arrows shot at him. He's terrified of this medieval monkey that comes out the toilet, the radioactive toilet, medieval past life. This is now remember the past, present, future. This is clearly something from the past and or the future. If we reverted into the future, Curtis is scared. He's like, this guy's putting a box in front of me. What's good with this box? Now, note, note like the emotion. He's terrified. But then we go to the next one. Not so terrified anymore. Now he's intrigued. Are we that dumb? Are we that much of a degen? We go from terrified to like, ooh, let me get my hands on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think I think we so. are. I think we are. Because I think degens are that silly that they just, they just drop in on it. So he's like, ooh, let me get my hands in it. Now that pink jewel right there on the side of the box kind of looks like an ethereum gem mm. gonna call that out right there and then you also see those monkeys floating on the box we'll get in a little bit of like box theory here but there's some monkeys that are floating and that's actually that little poof at the back of the monkey that's the that looks like it's a fart or a poop and and it's the front of the monkey on the other side so there's something with the art there's something with the booty of a monkey is producing something scarce and good. We know that. We like we right now we gotta be after the monkey booty. If we go to the next one. Hold on, hold on. Before you we, got takes? Yeah, like there's you know, we there's definitely a lot of clues on the box that I think we can touch on. But before we do, like that scene of that warrior, mystery warrior jumping out of the toilet. Jumping out of the toilet, you know, with arrows flying, obviously, like he's wearing armor. He was in the midst of a battle, basically escaping these arrows to come 
to to bring this mystery treasure box to Curtis. Okay? Yeah, so and he's the, the and Curtis is the only one that sees in this box. The the box gets locked, and all other apes at the as we go through the rest of this, all other apes just freaking don't care. They don't look in the box. They don't use the key to get in the box. They're a bunch of dumb apes. I mean, I don't know what's in there. A golden banana. I mean, there's rays of light coming out. Um, but I think what's notable here is that, like, we've established now that this this monkey, you know, he was in some type of battle because, right, like, we got arrows, we got armor. He came out of the toilet. So this toilet, you know, it's like a uh, portal. It looks seems like it's a portal to the other side, right? So... You know, this is like a messenger from the other side. Um, and the toilet, of course, was a portal because to get to the other side, you got to go underground, basically, and through the sewers. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to kind of set that stage, too, because I think that ultimately, like, that's where this lore is heading. Um, as to the other stuff on the box, like, you know, Hazy Bees highlighting this, this, I don't know what that is on top. I mean, is that an what eye? are you looking at there? An eye, uh, some type of jewel. It's a book. It's a book. It's a deed. It's a. Oh. It's another deed. Oh, it's a deed. But it looks like a book. So here's the front of the box. Where note that these these monkeys have tails. Okay, you ask like what's the difference between like a monkey and an ape? Apes don't have tails like this. Monkeys have tails like this. So th this these and farting this monkeys matches wrecked monkey, right? Yeah. So like maybe we all get our little wrecked monkey and our minting experience from our apes. I don't know. So and we know we know monkeys are trouble, right? Wrecked monkey is trouble. These monkeys are farting up a storm. Monkeys love to throw shit. You know, there's some type of like, you know, monkey shit throwing war potentially going on here. You know, it's a fucking messy situation, dude, in the other side. The other side sounds like a fucking shit show to me, good monkey. So now this box, move on from this box, right? We've been inspecting the box a little bit. We get the key now. The key was given. The key wasn't in the box. This key is glowing, much like the stuff that came out of the toilet, much the uh, same, same type of glow that was coming out of the box. Like it's very much leaning on that radioactive theme. Now this key, I'm going to go into it a little bit later because there's something we zoom in on at the end of this key that I think is pertinent. But before we get to that, right, like this key... We don't know if this key goes to the box. We don't know this. And Hazy pointed out to me before we started that the other side has updated their metaver their their location on Twitter to be a key. Hmm. So we don't know, right? Key typically in crypto Twitter represents access. That's typically what this is. So Whatever was in the box that was glowing wasn't the key. I feel like everyone who watches this video is like, oh, it was a glowing key, and then they're playing with the key. No, it's not that, right? Like, that. The, there, there's the key on the other side. This is new. The location key. The key that Curtis is holding. The key that the medieval ape came out of the toilet that we think is the portal that could be to the other side, right, gives a key. The key, then is a point of celebration and partying. So when we go to those next videos or those next stills, as we cruise through, right, the medieval ape goes back in the toilet. Once again, mutant type radioactive vibes coming out, shooting out, sim symboling a portal, right? Symbolic to being a portal. We cruise to the next image. Now we're off to party. And this party, like the golf clubs are right there. Like golf has never been something a part of uh, a part of uh, the board a Yacht club. Yeah, we love to see that. We yeah. love to see that. We got to get yeah. more apes golfing. We got to make like I mean, at the end of the day, and until I'm starting to see board a uh, golf tags out on the course, like I'm not having as good of a time as I could be, you know. So we get, yeah, we get that. for everybody listening, we're you know. We are two events into the probably nothing cup. 
which is the NFT golf tournament circuit. We had an event in San Diego, the Send Classic, and event number two during Art Basel in Miami at Miami Shores Country Club, the GMI Open. And so we're two events in, and I'm hearing things about event three possibly could be in Texas. I'm hearing some pretty bullish ideas about how that's going to go down. So I'd love to see some golf clubs in this board ape lore. They didn't need to put golf clubs in there. They, they put, put golf, golf clubs, clubs in there. In the hey, they they know they know their audience. They know we like golf at least. I mean, I'm here for it. That's right. That's right. I mean, we're these about apes to golf. Let, these apes golf. We're about to let a bang with some other apes. Uh, golf clubs are at the are at the club. That's important. That's important to note. But as we as we dig into more images here. We're popping over to we got more images of the box. Now, these mm. these apes start partying when they see in the box. At this point, they're actually chugging out the box. You know, they pour some alcohol on top of that. But prior to, right, if we go back to this slide, this box has a volcano in the center, two dogs, and two monkeys. Now, someone on crypto Twitter has said there's a dinosaur in there. I don't see a dinosaur, but <clears throat> volcano is pertinent to the other side trailer that dropped. When Curtis got the potion out of the swamp, drank it, and then flew into the other side, there was this huge volcano that he was around. Yeah, and, and some of the other deeds have like a volcano <laughs> vibe in there too. Yeah. 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 So volcanoes referenced here. I think, you know, the two canines, you got the doggos there, you got the monkeys. Once again, it's like these doggos are not letting up. And in actuality, the dogs are represented more in this video than mutants are. And we see this on the minting tier setup where tier four is a board ape yacht club monkey with a doggo tier three is a board ape yacht club ape tier two is a mutant with a doggo and tier four is a mutant so they're being very clear with the way that they've set this out that like mutants without doggos is not getting above tier two right yeah and so i this think is uh, a doggo board ape focused event i think you might have mentioned that Basically, the doggos, you, you have reason to believe that Gordon and Garga, you know, are big on these apes having a companion. Yeah, due David to some Foster liter Wallace connection. Right. Due to some other literature. And we know they're big lit heads and they're, you know, creative writers. So do you want to yep. just hit real quick on that alpha? Because I'm going to, I don't know if you know this, but. I bought a BAKC after hearing that alpha. Yeah, bro, because this is the thing with David Foster Wallace, right? RIP to that guy. He ended up taking his life. Um, one of the most like prolific writers in the literary world of the modern contemporary time. But the thing with David Foster Wallace and the book that they had so much debate about between Gordon and Garga is Infinite Jest. This is that book. And it's an incredible book. I'm on the side of, you know, I don't know exactly. I think Gordon was a fan of it and Garga wasn't. I'm, or I might have that mixed. I'm on the side of this book being fantastic. But every writing of David Foster Wallace has to deal with loneliness. Like that guy went to the core of loneliness in his literature. And it just... When I heard that they bonded over debates of David Foster Wallace, the doggo airdrop to me made so much sense. I was like, yeah, that's a David Foster Wallace thing. Like that is the loneliness, the companionship, the, the compelling need to have someone else in the trenches with you. And like the overall existential purpose of life, like that made me so attracted to doggos to the point where I never could fully bite on the mutant play. Like everyone was talking about collector sets and needing your mutant and needing your mutant. And I was like, no, dude, like this is not like what you need if you have an ape is a dog. Now, if you have a mutant, 
cool. You have a mutant. You have access into the club, but you if you already have access into the club, what do you need? You need a dog. You need, you a, need dog. a dog. You need and coverage. You need that companionship. They have that you need that thing that's gonna have your back. If you have crazy eyes and a fez and an army green background, who's gonna love you? Not your mom. It's a <laughs> dog. Right? Yeah, the other thing too is if you if you think back like every step of the way, right? So when there was the ape coin claim, which they distributed 150 million ape coin to holders, the dogs received an allocation of ape coin. You did have to have the mutant or the bored ape in order to claim the dog's allocation of ape. But basically the message was clear. You need a dog. If you got a mutant or an ape, you need a dog. So that there's that. And then, you know, when we at, when we started the staking, the staking also rewarded the dog holders because the staking pool for the dogs. Again, you can't do it with just a dog. You have to pair it with an ape. You can allocate ape coin, and it has a better APY than the ape only pool. So again, respect to the dog. So to me, after hearing what you said, and then thinking more about how the, the dogs continue to be a key piece of the roadmap and are rewarded with the ape drop and then are rewarded with the staking, I was like, the dogs are the play. There's only 10,000 dogs, actually less than 10,000 dogs, but there's, and there's, you know, upwards of 30,000 apes and mutants combined. So if you really need to have a dog, the supply squeeze is on those dogs. So when the dog floor was about six, I was able to, yeah, so this is on December 7th. I was able to snipe a DMT dog with a bandana and a captain hat banger for 6.5. So only half an ETH above the floor. And then that just put me in position. That's kind of like, I was thinking, all right, I'm going to, Take my exposure to the next steps with dog with an extra dog, so eight, got my mutant, whatnot, and then bang, this tweet dropped with you know what's to come, and what's to come is the mint, and the tier system includes basically leveling up with the dog. And obviously the market spoke, and you know, dogs immediately ran from six to eight, almost hit uh eight and eight and a half or nine, kind of pulled back. They're sitting around a floor of eight point three. Love to see it. Bullish on dog. You got a lot of doggos, don't you? you got I got doggos. ten doggos locked. You got loaded. ten doggos. Yeah, but <laughs> nothing common on them either. They're just, you know, we're talking only noise fur, only radioactive fur, only blue beams, only demon wings, only robot bodies. Oh man, so only you love to fur. see it. Love, love to, to see, see it. it. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'll drop. Dogs. I'll drop my mutants before dogs any day. Well, it's because you got your apes. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm just apes. like that. I you just can't give up the dogs. You can't. It's not worth the existential crisis. If you follow David Foster Wallace, the existential crisis of being alone without your doggos. Might mm. as well be out the club. That's alpha. This is why we're getting takes from Good Month ETH. This guy's <laughs> sitting on ten dogs. This guy's sitting on ten dogs because he's known. He's known that every ape should have a companion. He just plays the game. He's just following the the clues and following the roadmap. And here you are. And this dude, this claim that's coming up or this mint interactive mint. There's a lot on the line for you. You got a lot fucking right. I mean, I mean, you know. We're feeling, you know, tear. That's what we tear for, you know. That's why we're tear for, you know. We love you, good. That's what I'm tear for. I'm about to mint them dogs. That's what I'm tear for. Let's fucking go. Yeah, man, I'm stoked, man. Like, I'm stoked to see this tier four, tier two play out because at the end of the day, tier two in my mind is going to be the most rare tier. That's right. So. What you know, tier one is make, tier two is make plus dog, tier three is bake, tier four is bake plus dog. Most of the dogs are with the bored apes because that's where they got distributed. A lot of them held on to their dogs. A lot of them rebought back into their dogs because their cost bases or whatever they have an ape. What's a dog when you have an ape, right? You, right. you pay that. So 
Not many. Like, I'm going to bet there's going to be more bored apes that mint without a dog than there are mutants that mint with a dog. You know, you're right. There was somebody ran the numbers based on who's holding what. And the most rare mint is going to be tier two mutant plus dog. And to yeah. your point, like if somebody has a board ape and they've been holding a board ape, there's a good chance that they can figure out how to afford a dog. But yeah, people even if you are, loan for just the two weeks, right? Yeah. If people who are holding mutants, they generally don't, you know, if they don't have an ape and they only have a mutant, they, they have less liquidity and maybe harder time to justify picking up a dog, which is a good, you know, I mean, mutants now are up to 16 ETH, but, you know, the dogs stay pretty high too, eight and a half ETH. I mean, that's no joke. That's more than half a mutant, you know? So, so it is going to be the most rare mint though. It's yeah. tier two. That's yeah. true. And I do think the dogs are going to, I think the dogs are going to clip mutants heels with this because if we pop in to the end of the Jimmy, the trial video, if we pop in with some of those slides and we take a look at, you know, Jimmy swallowing the key. This is them partying with the key. I did want to like, if you go to the next slide, Hazy, we can't really zoom in on that, but that's a fucking cryptoed at that's the bottom cryptoed. of that key. That the actual like part of the key that unlocks, like that is a cryptoed. And and now we've seen cryptodes. They're CCOs, so they can be used, and we've seen them, you know, presented in the other side. But that's a cryptodes right there. Yeah, that's a very that's a monkey key, and that's a very cryptoed esque end of that key. So that's that's pretty interesting. I know you got a crypto. Your crypto yeah, dude. Is a I got an ape cryptos with purple Here, hair. Banger, bro. Uh, like banger. that thing. You just if, if anyone's having any type of like issues in the bed, you just print that thing out and put it put it on the headboard. <laughs> <laughs> Ox, fucks, dude. Let's go. So here's wrecked monkey. Uh, yeah, he swallowed and, a key and it's like an idiot, in him. like dumb fucking wrecked monkey that he is. He swallowed this key and yeah, everybody's and his, like, and his pissed. ears chewed up real bad. And I'm gonna say that's from a doggo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's all banged up. <laughs> he's all banged. He's wrecked monkey, and he's glowing <laughs> in the gut. So this radioactive part of the key, it's just, it's not going away in this theme, right? Yeah. Like, he knows, he knows he's in trouble. So we go to the next slide. And this is where I think it's the most important part of this prologue. Now, we need to call out that this is a prologue. So this is telling the story of Jimmy the monkey before Jimmy even gets into his shit. For people who don't, for DJs who can't comprehend what a prologue is, Imagine learning about Sam Bankman Freed in high school before it ever goes down. <laughs> that so okay, what's alpha? This guy's put on a boot. Yeah, this you think this boot doesn't matter? This boot freaking matters wondering. because who's this... putting that on? Do we know? Uh, just some this is just some ape? This is Curtis. That's Curtis? Yeah. And you know why it matters? That boot is an attribute of a board ape kennel club or a, a you know a, a kennel club doggo mm. they wear rain boots it's nowhere else yeah. in the collection next That's slide true. what's curtis wearing yeah scuba he's wearing gear. Yeah. scuba gear yeah. the only time Snorkel. we see scuba gear is on the dogs next slide right. what do we see a frog the only a time we see frog. a frog besides cryptodes that was featured in other side and possibly on the key. The only time we've seen a frog that's not a pixelated looking cryptodes frog is out of the mouth of a doggo. Doggo oh. attributes. Next slide. And at this Man. point, this is when Curtis runs through the sewer. Next slide, when we're rolling through the sewer, there's the boot again. There's, there's the a boot. beer can. The rolling can. Through. When like do the we can. see a beer can? Hanging around. The doggo's next. Good month. What the fuck? Now, 
I want to I want to bring us back to the point of the mint. The mint says prepare your strategy and and like you know navigate the sewers. If you're navigating the sewers and these things are in the sewers and these things are attributes of your doggos and you're pairing your ape or your make with a doggo, odds are these attributes are going to be tools for you to mint. The sewer calls discover its treasures mm. and mint what you gather well if you're paired with a doggo that has attributes that we've already seen in the sewer advantage has to go tier four tier two i'm going to call it right here on this podcast if you have a mutant and you have a dog that's bullish you're gonna get something out of this mint that will help you level up to an eight Ooh, that's a big, you know, the thing is, is like, we know that certain traits within the board ape collection, um, specifically furs, right? Trippy furs, like trip summers, like I got trip summers, like golden furs, they catch a heavy premium. They catch a heavy premium over the floor. Um, we're talking diamond five, grills. six, six rainbow grills so like ultimately like when you're minting something out of this board of yacht club collection like if you get something rare man people are gonna pay you for that big time the codas when the code is dropped the mega codas were popping off at 100 eth 200 eth i think i saw like a 300 eth mega coda sale so like that's the thing with with these these mints like if there's rarity involved if there's rare items or treasures or whatever we're going to get here, like absolutely could be a big level up. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know what treasures mean. Does it mean boots? Does it mean cans? Does it mean wearables? Does it mean, you know, when I see the boot, I think wearable, you know, you're saying tools, right? Like scuba gear, you know, if they're going into the other side and they're going into battle, I mean, you need weapons, right? Like, uh, I yeah, know, I think right? the weapon, I think, you know, the codas that have the weapons, there's only 3,000 of those. Dogs that have the weapons, I think the weapons are going to be a later play. I think they're smart, but I think we're going to, I think people's eyes are going to like, for the, for the apes like myself who just blindly hold on to dogs because we just know we need them, like we have faith. Come January 11th and January 18th, we're going to get smacked on the ass. Like, FOMO is going to turn into perma, perma holds. It's going to be a big deal. Like, it's going to be a perma hold. Like, right now, yeah. I have some doggos listed. I don't feel great about it, but I know, you know, it's a pump that I have to play. After January 18th, like, you might not be able to pry a doggo out of me for anything. Like yeah, there might not kinda... be any amount of dollars that ETH that's gonna pry a doggo out of my hands. Oh my bullish, dude. This is this is like a bigger, you know, takeaway here is that this is this has been building uh for a while. We've been waiting for this moment, we've been waiting for this storyline, for this experience. This is a new territory, this is uncharted territory, and I think by the time these next few videos and, you know, leading up to this mint, we're going to have a lot more information about where this is going. Um, or, you know, at least like be more engaged and entrenched into the experiential part of what's happening. And so again, like if you held this long, right. If you held this long you and then there's fanatic. like a prologue and you then essentially like an introduction into like what's coming what are you gonna do you're gonna sell you're gonna leave now <laughs> i'm fucking not going anywhere you're not going anywhere and then you no. buy they buy we knew like yuga buys we knew and then this whole like yuga production thing like after their videos now they have this like yuga come out and yell at you like yuga like if you don't fuck if that doesn't bring back 90s nostalgia from you of like Nickelodeon and Disney as a millennial, like 
your brain has to be going freaking wild on nostalgia right now. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and also Gordon mentioned like, or somebody mentioned something about Ren and Stimpy vibes. Was it Gordon? Ren and Stimpy, he did, he did. Yeah, and and you you were digging into that right before we fired up the show, and then you stumbled into like some kind of alpha. Like, you want, <laughs> what, what were you talking about? You were you were just like mumbling to yourself, like, oh shit, oh, monkeys, monkeys, oh shit. I was like, what the fuck? Let's get the show started. AZB's like, dude, we're, <laughs> Goody's just getting into some some un, uncharted territory himself, dude. What are we looking at here? What do we got now? <laughs> Bro, so do you guys know? Do you guys know who? Um, do you guys know who Thad uh, Komarowski is? Thad Komarowski? No, no, I don't. So Thad Komarowski. Thad. T H A D. Thad. Like correct. Chad with a T. Chad with Th- a T. Yeah, yeah Chad right. with the three. Right, I guess with the, with that's a, a name. Is that a name? Is it short for like Theodore or something? Thad? No, I don't know. Uh, so he's a lifelong researcher of like classic animated uh, cartoons. And he wrote a book called uh, Sick Little Monkeys. And mm. Sick Little Monkeys is a non-blessed story, meaning unauthorized, of Ren and Stimpy, about the creators of Ren and Stimpy. And it is a breakdown um like this guy is a scholar like this thad guy really dove in it's like a documentary before you know video documentaries took over and he dove into the money ego and art of ren and stimpy and it's called sick little monkeys sick little monkeys and monkeys had nothing to do with ren and stimpy so Hmm. i find it i haven't read the book I'm going to order it now. I'm going to read it. I'm going to get to the bottom about like what this is. But this is kind of alpha, bro. Like you're talking art. Can you go back, KZB? Can you go back to that Ren and Stimpy? Again, like we're looking at Ren and Stimpy because Gordon, you know, mentioned that there was Ren and Stimpy vibes, right? And, And we get that. And then, and then Goodmont discovers this, uh, author, that put out this Ren and Stimpy story, Sick Little Monkeys. And then if you look in the doorway, like, you know, that's apparently like Ren and Stimpy, right? Like their, their shadows, their silhouettes. Um, and if you look in the outhouse, when he's exiting the outhouse, there's like- Yes! A, yeah, there's like an image that kind of similar to- with the ears, I don't yes, know. it actually looks identical to that that shadow of Stimpy. Yeah. Yes, you're yeah. dead right. Stimpy, there's an ode to Stimpy. Anyways, you know, something to look into for the diehards out there. Check it out, sick little monkeys. Maybe there's some alpha in there. I don't know how far the wormhole we're going here, but I don't. I feel like we're getting getting closer close yeah but there is this keypad there's this keypad that he dials in a combination right you guys got some alpha on that yeah why are there so many locks on the door though like that's the real thing so this keypad the number that gets pulled up points to in other deeds that's a bog deed that is owned by you Labs. so it's like hey check us you know Hmm. it's it it ties on the portal like this is the portal the other side we have a code the code like what if every you know you access every deed by an outhouse what if we're minting an outhouse for ourselves Hmm. i think that like because we also have notification that like the next uh other side experience is gonna take place in march right and so you know, maybe what do they call this again? It was like the first trip and this is going to be like the second trip. And so, you know, that's going to take place in the other side. So maybe like that's the other deed number that it's going to take place in. I don't know. You know, we don't know what this 
We don't know what this means. But I think it's notable clues, right? We, we know the number of another deed that they own. So it's just more like connections to, to the other side. You know, I just feel that like whatever's happening next, it's going to start to connect the, the assets, you know, connecting the other side to the board ape club which right now i mean just getting getting an outhouse that you get a like you know that has artifacts in there that you can get in there and decorate they also announced that other side deeds are going to be personalized so you can get in there and customize them like write your own lore you know for people to drop into your other deeds they 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 presented a video with this like you know this sick in-game rendering of the bone environment for other deeds and there was this floating black rock when you go and look at that other deeds on ether scan and you take a look at the attributes there's no floating rock there's no resources there's no artifact on that bone on that bone environment so what is that doing there does that mean that people can rent artifacts and borrow artifacts for their land um, as attraction points for people to visit, to farm, to do these things. I just think, I just think that Yuga Labs is doing something that is totally decoupled from logic. Like everyone's so focused on like the resources of other side and farming them and doing DeFi and all these things. Like fuck that, dude. This is not that like this is not something that's logical that you can go explain to your uncles about and aunts about like why you spend time in the other side like they're creating something that is going to confuse us like they're creating something that we're gonna pop in the other side and spend a lot of time in there and we're gonna honestly not have answers we're not going to be able to explain why we're in there so much. Like, just like the MFers that are on Twitter tweeting things for views now and on Twitter spaces, tw like, doing things for engagement, they can't explain it. They, they monetize it somehow. They get sponsorship somehow. They do things somehow. But that's what's going to happen to us. Like, we are... This box that opens up that has something in it just really gives me Ready Player One, like Willy Wonka vibes. And I don't feel ashamed putting the two of those things together because it's all about scarcity. It's all about the chase. It's all about the challenge, you know? Yeah, no, I feel that, you know? So I think in general, like, you know, this, this leads me to believe, like what we reviewed leads me to believe that this interactive mint you know, taking place in the sewer uh, to, to gather different kinds of items that should potentially help you in your quest of whatever's going to take place next in the other side. And if you have a dog, you know, that's going to level you up. And GG. now, you know, when, you GG know, when we, if you got a dog, yeah. just good game. <laughs> when we have, when we look at the collection of dogs, you know, they have all of these things, boots and snorkels and weapons and all this stuff. So, like, we we need to get geared up because the apes don't have that kind of stuff. So maybe we're going to get some gear uh, for the apes and the mutants. Um, I'd be know, bullish. I just want to put some alpha out there. If you're going to go hunt a dog, you know, and you're looking for fur, common fur, you know, you're trying to grab something off the floor. I think the most underrated thing most underrated thing is the packs there's camo packs there's serve like there's 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 these backpacks on these yeah. doggos like those are might be just mystery boxes like you pop those things those things are gonna matter well you don't strap a pack on a dog for no reason <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey, well look this is fucking the the time we've been waiting for frankly you know this this next few weeks we're gonna learn what they've been doing with that 400 million dollar treasury you know we're gonna see it in action we're gonna see the animations we're gonna see some content we're gonna see and some gordo, fucking and gordo crazy saying, lore. Gord, and gordo saying hey should we turn on royalties for doggos so we can actually make some cool shit that's psyops they've already made cool shit they just he just needed sentiment in a tweet, which he got, and they flipped on they flipped on creator royalties. It was just it was brilliant. 
Yeah, and it was just two and a half percent, you know? Like, I, to be honest with you, this whole time, I didn't realize, I had forgotten that the dogs were zero. Yeah. I just assumed they were two and a half also this whole time, so. Yeah. You know. So now they're going to start boosting those doggos. Doggos yeah. are going to be fierce, bro. Like, I'm actively trying to puke my mutants to just swoop up more doggos. Just get more dogs. You don't want to have around with the tier one and the tier three. You just want tier two, tier four. Huh. I only want doggos. I mean, at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be mad if I just capitulated into only doggos. <laughs> just a big bag of doggos. We'll, we'll see. You know, we'll see where this is going. It's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. December 28th, we're going to get the next kind of like set of clues. You know, we'll try to run back another podcast after that. Get some more alpha out here. Do you have any more alpha about this to share? Do we have any other slide that you wanted to hit tonight? Or did we kind of like get some of these thoughts out there for the, you know, community to see and let these kind of ideas and theories breathe a little bit? as we approach approach the next steps. Yeah, I mean, the only alpha I got out there is like, you had all bear. You had all bear market to make moves. And I'm going to be sick and tired of hearing people in 2023 talking about all the things they could have done. Like, your time was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the great accumulation. Uh, look, I think with crypto in general we're we're in an accumulation period where you know it gives opportunity to for people to stack um i think that that will generally continue what's what's interesting though is the fact that apecoin survived and the staking and everything is is proceeding and i'm feeling fairly comfortable right now with that because it's like the combination of the staking rewards and then the combination with the speculation around what's going on with this roadmap and these videos that are being released. It's like, you know, we're kind of in the sweet spot here and we'll, we'll continue to monitor this. We'll continue to share our thoughts and try to, you know, ho you know, hopefully continue to be in the right spot at the right time, man, because, you know, I mean, like you said, this isn't really a surprise. I mean, we've had time. And I think the thing that is that people forget and people who have an experience that maybe are new to the new to this game, um, man, when that FOMO machine starts kicking, when those bots start reeling, I mean, it's these things can move. You know, we've seen some movement, um, but we've only seen part of the picture here. So. Everything's so thin. Like when you really think about it, like other deeds ran from like 1.2 to like 1.8. That's a hundred thousand mint collection. Like floor running up a whole ETH when another side video drops. Ape coin, hold pressure. Like, and there's gonna be, we haven't even talked about the fact that you can use ape to enhance your minting experience. And if there's any notion of this minting experience to be like, you could do better if you throw more ape to it, there's gonna be M efforts that throw their whole ape bag at this thing. Like, I, I, and I'll be straight up, if you tell me I get a 20% a chance at getting an M3 type style mint, if I throw 10,000 ape to it, like as dumb as a decision as that is, I'm gonna consider it. I'll tell you what I think is gonna happen with that is that I think when we are doing this interactive mint experience, like it kind of sounds like maybe running or swimming through the sewer, trying to find treasures against the clock. And so maybe you can <laughs> add yeah, more time. It buys you more time. Yeah, maybe Ape was going to buy you more time. And who's it's not going to It's fascinating to do... It's fascinating. Like, let's just call this out. It's fascinating to call on ape when staking is live. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's and gonna create spot buys. 
Yeah. This and is, we're going to see how thin this thing really is. Like, thin yeah. is the new thick, bro. <laughs> oh so, yeah, between the staking and the, the lockup, um, it is it does it does have potential to move quick. And the reason that I'm like especially kind of happy about what's been announced so far is you know, like we know that they're being looked at by the SEC. We know that ApeCoin is being looked at from the standpoint of is this a security? Uh at least that's what I think that they're trying to assess uh as to like you know, other things as well. But I thought that they were just like not even going to mention ApeCoin for like a while. Like yeah, until they, that yeah. blew they're, over. They're not shying away from it. Yeah. No. They were like, oh. Because when that Bloomberg article came out, they were in like on the back end of it. So basically, they're like, we're moving forward with our roadmap. We're going to comply, of course, with the regulators and try to help answer all the questions yeah. that they have. Sure. But our roadmap involves ApeCoin. We're moving forward with the roadmap. We're moving to the next phase. And you're going to be able to use ApeCoin, this fucking mint, to upgrade your mint. So it's like, bingo! We're not shying away from ApeCoin. And that's all I yeah. needed to hear. Because they're just that's telling regulators, like, ApeCoin is just points. It's just points. It's just like loyalty points. points. That's all it is. We're just going to give them opportunity to use their loyalty points. Did Marriott and Starbucks ever get in trouble for their stars and their points? No. Oh, same thing. <laughs> it's just points. Yeah. Nobody's nobody's trading the No the one's going to get rich though. off ApeCoin, the... Mr. Regulator, Mr. Yeah. Gary. No one's yeah. going to get rich off of ApeCoin. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, you're worried about people trading ApeCoin for Porsches? Gary, this is points. Gary, this is. Have you heard of you points? Have you talked to Frank yet? <laughs> He's just giving points, and you know what those points are gonna do? Yeah, probably. Like the market's probably gonna go wild about it. Maybe they'll trade, you know, Porsches and homes for the points one day. But that's not our problem. That's a marketplace issue. Yeah, Gary's got bigger problems. Gary's got much bigger problems. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know? Yep. Sam and his cast of fraudulent characters. They've really shit on everything that including Sam. Yeah. <laughs> they just rolled on Sam. <laughs> they really uh you know they they've created quite the situation here. And I feel that like whatever we're doing with our little monkey pictures and our ape coin is not that damaging. Why don't you stop the people who stole the eight billion dollars? So yeah. We'll take yeah, the cover. Hey. We'll take that cover. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, yo, thanks for thanks for taking the time to shop up, you know, Wrecked Monkey, which people are calling Jimmy, Jimmy the Monkey, the prologue. Thanks for going into this. This is a big deal. You know, people be watching this podcast being like, did they just break down a cartoon? Yeah, we did. You know what? mf -er, we did break down a cartoon. And you know what the biggest deal about this cartoon is? Is that it's tied to a contract. And you know what the biggest deal about that contract is? It's tied to assets on the contract. The people own those assets. And what are those assets? The digital assets, what does that mean? I don't know. The IRS just paused guidance today because they're trying to figure out a plan. So I don't have answers for you, Anon. I don't have answers for you, Normie. But what I do have to tell you is that this story that might have been on Nickelodeon at some point in the 90s is driving Millennium bags. So never fade you guys. Never fade the NFT. Fox has a problem with the Nostra. They just got no nose. Merry Christmas, MFers. Bam, 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 bam. The Dex is in chat. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. RP got that hot beat. Bridge built to the swamp. Now the eights are barking. Picking up bananas like you ever heard a cat laughing. They on time sweeping. What's left? Got a red disease, call it out of weight. Headed down from the tree, I swear the floor.